going out there YouTube this is SEL0320 representing JVS so this is my review for this amazing product that I didn't think was gonna be nowhere near to these expectations that I had for it but the Powerbeats Pro Wireless so um, Apple slash Beats has done it again um, they've created a quality product um, I mean of course the name brand <laughs> um, that has not only great base, but more so than anything, great capability. Because for the long time, I was really apprehensive about the AirPods. The AirPods, I thought from a conceptual design standpoint, you know, I, I, I like these, you know what I'm saying? Like I like what these can do, but I was like, you know, putting this in your ear, just kind of leaving it there, I just, I didn't think it was safe, you know what I'm saying? Like for running or anything like that, but I've seen so many different people do that. And it was something about this that I was kind of just like, Let's really see if this is something that can tangibly work. And I took a dive. I took a huge dive. And if you haven't checked out our unboxing, you definitely should. I'll leave it in the description bar below or I'll have it attached to this video. I'm not really sure how I'm actually going to go and float it. But let's get to the nitty gritty. So these right here, whether or not you know it or not, these are magnetic ends. They kind of go in just like this and they fit in magnetically. As soon as you pull them off, you put them in your ear, you'll hear like a little buzz. And once that little buzz comes up, you know you're attached. And even cooler than that, which you'll see in the video in just a second, as soon as you get it close to your phone, it'll automatically start to pair, it'll automatically start to synchronize, and you don't even have to go see your Bluetooth, it'll just, you click, and there's like a little button on the inside of this, and it'll recognize it for you, which is so cool. Now, I did a couple different tests. Before I even go to like my real review, I really had a lot of different questions about the capability because I want this for functionality as much as I do want it for efficiency in terms of audio quality. I know, you know most of the beats have great audio in terms of bass, in terms of music that I want. I'm not using these you know, to produce music. I'm not using these um, to go and mix a whole entire album you know what i'm saying i'm using these for basic use using them for across my reviews i'm using them with my laptop using them with my phone using them whatever i can and seeing how work how well they work symbiotically with other outside devices now when i was going through this the first test that i did is i just literally simply took the thing out of this and i wanted to see if i could just use one and I mean, when I mean one, I wanted to see if I could go and just listen to music by itself. And I could. Not only that, I also checked to see if I could make a call with one to see if it worked. Because I mean, I knew that both of these, they had like, you know, specifically two different microphones in both. Um, I knew that much about the, um, about the AirPods. Um, but I wanted to see if it was possible to be able to use this one th through the entirety of like a conversation or the entirety of like music. Um, and then also I went and I checked out to see about this. Like a lot of people gave this a lot of flack in terms of like how big it is and compared to the AirPods. Um, one, I did check and see if you could actually take this and charge it uh, with the lightning cord with your laptop. You could, I took it and also charged it directly with um, a back end to be able to plug it directly into the wall. It worked just fine. Um, and then the other thing was I wanted to see, you know, how it actually functioned um, in terms of the charge ability. So when you actually go and you put these in there and you put them close to your phone, it'll actually show what's the levels of each individually in addition to that, like, what is the charge? Because this, this has its own charge, so I can keep this with me at all times. And this surprisingly kept a really good charge for a long, efficient amount of time. Um, next thing I tested was to see, you know, um, how are the audio levels? And I'll kind of let you kind of hear that right now. Okay, this is just a test um, to confirm um, the audio levels and 
to see how well the Beats um, Pro, I'm sorry, the Power Beats Pro um, headphones actually do in terms of audio. Um, right now I'm using a, um, a iPhone X. Um, I will also be testing this with my MacBook Pro uh, to see how well the audio does come through. I will guarantee that the audio is coming through the headphones and not through the, the computer, just like I'm trying to do this with the phone. Uh, again, this is a preliminary test to confirm how well the audio does come through as far as the microphone. I want to make sure we make this as extensive as possible. Okay, this is a preliminary test. Um, I've only got the left ear in. Uh, I'm testing through my MacBook uh, Pro. I uh, just want to confirm the audio levels. I'm going to go maybe 30 seconds, and then I'm going to do it with both ears to see if there's a difference in the quality. Um, I might do the other one just by itself and then put that back in the locker. Um, but this was a 30-second preliminary test through the left earbud for the Beats. Okay, this is a preliminary test for the right ear. Um, just confirming. Um, well, the microphone picks up. Um, this is going to my MacBook Pro. Um, I did check the audio settings. This is only through, again, the input from the right ear. Um, just going for 30 seconds just to confirm. And again, this is the right ear preliminary 30 second test. Okay, this is a standard test um, for me going for a minute. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be walking around with beats in ear. Um, I'm currently testing this on my MacBook Pro in a concealed room. Uh, this is not a soundproof room by any means. Um, what I'm going to do is a couple of different things. I'm going to do a loud test. This is only going to go for a minute. I'm starting at 30 seconds. This is now me talking a little bit more elevated to see how actually if it goes over. Um, now I'm going to talk really low. I just want to check and see if this can pick up what I'm actually saying, if this is something that will work. Because when you're having a an infant, you want to know if you can be able to talk really low. Somebody can be able to hear you. Okay, so um, again, um, this is a preliminary test with both the earbuds of the Power Beats Pro Wireless through the MacBook Pro. Let's see how this worked. And as you can hear, like the audio levels were actually pretty good. <laughs> and I went from different ear, ear to ear, um, between my laptop, between my phone, just to kind of see, you know, how did the audio actually come through? Like in terms of my memos, in terms of um, just recording something from QuickTime. And audio, surprisingly, was actually really good and it actually sounded very clear. I was really surprised by that. All the past two days, I've been legit making calls with just one of these in my ear just to see if people can hear me efficiently. Most people didn't even know I had my like was using this. And that was why I knew this is a great product because nobody was like, oh, I can't hear you. Because a lot of times, even with my Beats um, solos, um, my solo threes, like people were like, I can't really hear you. Can you adjust this? I didn't have to adjust a thing. Like people just naturally heard me very well. Other thing about this is the way that this actually fits. It's very snug. It's very comfortable. I could go and do like, it's not coming out. <laughs> and I think that there is a downside and upside to that. I mean, as you can kind of see here, um, let's see if I can find it. I don't have them with me. Um, yeah, I do have one with me. Hold up. I'll pull them out for you so you can kind of see real quick. Um, I did it in the unboxing, but I'll show it to you right here. You have a different um, variety of buds to make sure it fits your ear canal because when you go and take it out, there's like a bug right here and it goes and it fits in and then it curls out. Now, it does look really weird off of my ear to be quite honest with you, but started some music <laughs> but it does work efficiently um but when you have it deep in your ear canal you really can't hear a thing um to be quite honest with you like you have to really focus that's one of the reasons why i love that you can use one versus other because you can have one out listen to a little bit of music focus on what you're doing and you don't have to feel like you're completely out of the sync of reality um 
what else, what else, what else, what else, before I go into anything more than this, um, I think that's pretty much everything, I went through the test of seeing if you could use one, I went through the test of the audio quality, I went through the test of functionality, um, in terms of like the connectivity with the Bluetooth and uh, even when I used it with my MacBook Pro it, the Bluetooth worked just fine it just connected um, it didn't go through um, the little link like I did with this one I opened up and pushed the button it didn't really come up it was only with my phone I'm not sure if that's because the A the A chip doesn't function with the lower model uh, MacBook Pro that I have or if I don't have a firmware update I'm not really sure um, I did take the range though. Um, I went, uh, I'm gonna say, I see, I left the phone in my room and then I went two different rooms, went out the door, went down the stairs, and went outside. And I was like, I'm still going, and then it just kind of cut as soon as I got outside. So, I mean, it's got a really good amount of range because those are a lot of different walls to go through. So I definitely would highly recommend this from a functionality standpoint and from a versatility standpoint. But what you really want to know is how does it come through in terms of the audio content. Because it does like go really well in my ear canal, um, as you can kind of see right here, this is my mother who I love. Um, she was just completely immersed. It was like in a full immersion kind of sense for her because she's normally used to having like earphones over her ears. Um, versus something in her ear canal because normally when this stuff's in her ear canal it doesn't really stay in and I've kind of had the same exact problem as well but this this it just stayed in her ear she was just sitting there enjoying vibing and she also was spending time uh, with my son singing and just like she was all in it and matter of fact I think she was kind of like I really want some how much with these um, one of the negatives I would say is that I mean well I don't know if it's a negative or positive because I mean it might be worth it because this right now is ranging at $249.99. Um, you can get it from the Apple Store, Best Buy, uh, but right now it's not available anywhere. Um, I think the next available shipment is going to be June the 27th of 2019. It might be backlogged again just because of the availability of this. And I got the black model. Um, I'm not even sure if the blue, navy blue, or the cream model is even something that's available um, even then. Um, you have to go and check and confirm. Thankfully, um, I can definitely confirm that the Apple Store and um, uh, Apple Carnegie Library in Washington, D.C. did have the availability. So shout out to them. Thank you for those that really did help. And um, huge shout out to them. If you've never been to the Carnegie, definitely go check out that museum. Because the downstairs and the second floor are really dope. But in the middle floor and the first floor, that's all Apple. And it is an amazing store. It's got an emerging experience um, section that you definitely don't want in this. Um, but what else? I think that's pretty much it. But I guess now I can talk about the way that I've, like, just, just from normal usage. I love these things, to be quite honest with you. Like, I have fallen in love with them because um, I've been most of the time just using one and just been kind of going out and rocking out vibing out for a second or if i need to go work out if i need to go wash dishes or whatever like i've been able to really do it quite easily um and most of my audio which i was worried that because it was so deep in my ear canal that it was going to come off really loud or really choppy or too much but i think there's some kind of sensor there that doesn't push things too far because i never have felt since i've had these and i've had these pretty high like the music is too loud which that's weird um I've, what i mean by too loud is that uh, uncomfortability in terms of the quality in terms of how this is going because most of the beats like i mean you got a good bass but you know sometimes it can get really uncomfortable sometimes it can be a little bit too much um and give you a headache i've had these in my ear for a minute talking to a friend for two hours and i still haven't had any problems with it um, and that's a that's a compliment to the design and architecture of this. Um, from a functionality standpoint, once you actually click this, you can be able to go and instantly listen to whatever music's playing. I just played it right there. Click it once, that's it. Other thing is like volume controls right here, right here. So functionality is really cool. I mean, it would be nice if like there was a button right here, close by where the um, the magnetic sensor is, where I can go and skip tracks. That's not something that I can do or I don't know. 
that's something that's a functionality that's going to be added later on with the one stop button um so it's few and far between negatives but in terms of listening to music in terms of using it on the fly i think you're gonna fall in love with this the the only big thing is you need to make sure this can fit in your ear i did talk to one of my close friends uh Niger. there's a big old belt he also does have these as well and he could not fit these in his ear very well and so you need to make sure that this is something that from a usability standpoint that'll be able to function for you so i would recommend going and testing it out before you leave the apple store make sure somebody can help you uh, get it adjusted in your ear correctly or efficiently um, make sure that it's actually something that does work and applies to you if it does not then definitely take it back but i think if you can fit in your ear this is a keeper you will not be disappointed by this so shout out to apple shout out to beach for this amazing product um yeah i don't foresee myself getting any other kind of beats after these uh, i might get over ear from um video production standpoint and of course editing standpoint but right now um i've fallen in love with these and i'm gonna recommend these to anybody um i had to give a rating 9.5 10 out of 10 like it's i, I really i had like nitpicks here or there like a couple of different things i could have added here canal sometimes it doesn't work for everybody um i mean when i go and i have it close to my macbook if it's an older model it doesn't go instantly connect right here but i mean those are small nitpicks and can in in comparison to the capability of these the functionality of these the efficiency and just how easy it is to use i think you're gonna love it and uh yeah that's all i got hopefully you guys enjoyed this review i'm gonna go listen to some more music keep it locked jvs we ain't gonna stop you have a blessed one. Oh yeah by the way i highly recommend you uh check out on may the 31st dc universe's swamp thing you're not gonna be disappointed have a blessing guys make sure you leave a like make sure you subscribe make sure you share this because people need to know this is a good product peace guys